What's up guys, we're here on Cold War Zombies, and as you can see, I'm already loading into a Firebase Z game on solo. But I think it was really important to show you guys, especially those of you who are trying to do the Easter egg. One of the most annoying steps for this Easter egg is probably one of the most useful tools you can use getting anything done on Firebase Z here. And I'm going to show you how. And of course, if you've already tried doing the Firebase Z Easter egg, you already know the most annoying part of it is catching mimics in the essence traps. Now, the essence trap is actually a very, very useful item. Now, if you've ever been in the position where you're trying to get stuff done but that last zombie is always annoying you always hounding you surrounding you hitting you while you're trying to get the dark board step done to get the ray k or any step to the easter egg the essence trap is so useful for that now all you gotta do just to start play through it regularly you know we already talked to rabinov as we got here so we're gonna go ahead and head up get power on then we're gonna talk to rabinov again then peck and get the easter egg started and the reason we need to start the easter egg is that way we can actually use the essence traps meaning if you just want a little extra time to get pack a punch done maybe even explore the map find new places to train it'll give you three minutes to go do whatever you want around the whole map with zero interference there'll be no zombies no new ones will spawn there'll be no manglers there might be mimics if you you walk across items that have triggered a mimic spawn or that will trigger a mimic spawn so be on the lookout for that so i'm gonna go ahead and get power on get each reactor on it takes a little bit longer than some other zombies maps but once you get it on you can get the whole thing started and the first reactor is done so let's head on to the second and that is reactor two complete and all three reactors are now online and we can go ahead and get this thing started now once power's on you're gonna go ahead and talk to rabinov he's just gonna talk your ear off uh you can pack a punch if you have the points i currently don't so i'm gonna go ahead and snag those points up really quick pack a punch my weapon and now that power's on we're gonna go ahead and head back through the portal and go say hello to dr peck and to do that all you gotta do is out the portal head through the left door He's going to be right over here underneath the balcony. And once he's done talking, we need to head back to Rabinoff. It's going to be a lot of going back and forth here. All right, Peck's done talking. Rabinoff wants us to return. Little does he know we're already here. Him and Weaver will go back and forth until he gives you his Costco ID card. And you can go ahead and use his membership to open up some lockers and get some samples. All right, he's going to go ahead and slide the card through. So we'll grab that and the first place you want to go is right through this door in village you're going to open this up and grab compound s 16. after that head up the stairs go through the portal and after you make it through to the left of the portal through that same door we're going to walk through this green tunnel area and there's going to be another locker we can open up we're going to grab that and we get compound 36 and for the third and final sample we're going to come up here through the sky bridge into colonel's office the best room for training and getting camos in zombies open up this locker here get compound p 65 and if you don't have the middle door and helipad unlocked you can always come through mission control and once the power's on this door will be open and you can cut through here right into this red building the field hospital and you're gonna head and mix your compounds into this machine on the table after you mix them hellhounds will spawn so be prepared for that here they come just make sure you don't kill your last zombie that way you're not trying to run through hordes of them getting this thing done but once it's all done spinning you come over here and you transfer it to the gas delivery system and once you pick it up you're gonna head back to mission control and then once you head out of mission control you're gonna take a sharp left through this door past the stairs over the railing and you're gonna put it right here on the air conditioner once that's done it's gonna give peck the truth serum here and if you stay here you don't shoot any zombies once he starts talking the zombies won't come at you just don't do any damage to him you can just kind of sit here and wait for him to finish and just a warning this does take a while just for this part he just sits there and dances forever he's just vibing now once he's done dancing he's gonna tell you you need the codes to get some access to open the portal and all these codes are on people that are already dead which have turned into mimics now that we've come here to the data center and we've gotten our essence trap from this machine right over here you can carry one at a time it takes place of your tactical now go through the round like normal but just leave a mimic for last very important you want to get them to low health do not kill them be very careful just do as little damage as you can up until they're at like one health bar it's basically like pokemon all right we've now officially taken out all the zombies in this round besides this mimic we do have them down to low health he barely has anything on him don't throw it on the essence trap get him in there Collect for processing. Three minutes to containment failure. 
Now, as you can see right there, it said collect for processing three minutes until containment failure. So now that we have the mimic in our pocket, we can do anything. Well, I'll go around the whole map and I will show you nothing here in engineering, nothing here up in planning offices, not a single zombie on the map. We captured the last enemy, which is the mimic. So we can go ahead and start getting other parts of the Easter egg done if we wanted to. You can come over here, grab your shovel. There's no one here to stop you. You can come down here through barracks if you wanted to upgrade your armor in here or anything, or you can go ahead and start building the Ray K. So this, this strategy is very, very useful for getting anything done without even having to think about other zombies being in the area. So you can get whatever you want done within those three minutes. We can go ahead and grab the eye right here. After you kill the eye zombie though, more zombies will spawn. So you can go ahead and just take them out. Even if you kill them all, the round won't end because you still have that very last mimic in your back pocket. But what if you need more time? What if three minutes isn't enough for what you want to do? Maybe you're playing online and the host went AFK or something and didn't pause the game. You know, just any kind of situation where you just need time. All you got to do is when this thing busts out of here in this next five seconds, seconds like he is right now so you hopped out you can go ahead and grab another essence trap throw it down put him in there and you have a whole nother three minutes to do whatever you want and you can do this as many times as you want i think maybe eventually the mimic just might die uh i i've only ever done it maybe up to three times in a round but if you go through the easter egg and you finish the mimic step i'm not sure if s's traps keep spawning i think whatever is left there after you do the mimic thing i think it'll be four for sure you only get that many temps after so always save one for when you go do the alignment with the planets in the easter egg or when you're looking through all the the little essence tubes to find the right eighth crystal to get the, the generators going and everything. Just make sure you're using them wisely. Just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this and see if it's the right one. That's the wrong one. All right, it wasn't even the right one, but that just proves you can use whatever mimic you want. Just make sure it's low health and to make it even easier, kill all the zombies first. Don't even touch the mimic until the end. Lower its health, throw it in the essence trap, and then you have free reign to do whatever you want on the whole map of Firebase C. So if you found this helpful, go ahead and leave a like on it. Uh, if you didn't, dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.